Welcome to Audio Codes Training Academy. This video tutorial shows you how to configure Layer 3 networking through the web management interface. Layer 3 networking is composed of four steps. First, configure the physical port. Second, you need to assign the port to an Ethernet group. An Ethernet group allows you to logically group up to two ports so that you can employ Ethernet port redundancy. In our example, we will just have one port in our Ethernet group. Third, you need to configure an Ethernet device by assigning it your Ethernet group and defining it with a VLAN ID. And finally, configure the IP network interface. When you do this, you need to assign the IP network interface with the Ethernet device that you have configured. Let's start by logging into your device. Instead of navigating to each individual page to configure the Layer 3 network, we will use the Network View, which provides a quick and easier way to configure the network. Access the Network View by clicking the IP Network tab. The Network View is displayed by default. In our example, we will assign Ethernet port 2 to Ethernet group 3. Click Ethernet port 2. From the drop-down list, choose Edit. This opens the Physical Ports page where the port row is automatically highlighted. Click Edit. In our example, we will accept the default speed and duplex as auto-negotiation. Click Apply to apply your settings and we are returned to the network view. In our example, we will assign our Ethernet port to Ethernet Group 3. However, currently this port is already assigned to Ethernet Group 1. So we will first need to remove it from Ethernet Group 1 and then we will assign it to Ethernet Group 3. Click Ethernet Group 1. From the drop-down list, choose Edit. This opens the Ethernet Groups table where the Ethernet Group row is automatically highlighted. Click Edit. Our port is in the Member 2 field. To remove the port, select the double hyphen. Click Apply to apply your settings and we are returned to the network view. Note the connection has been removed. Now we can assign our Ethernet port to Ethernet Group 3. Click the Ethernet Group 3 icon. From the drop-down list, choose Edit. This opens the Ethernet Groups table where the Ethernet Group row is automatically highlighted. Click Edit. From the Member 1 drop-down list, select the port. Click Apply to apply your settings and we are returned to the network view. Note that the Ethernet port has been assigned to Ethernet Group 3. The next step is to configure the Ethernet device by assigning it to an Ethernet group and defining it with a VLAN ID. Click Add VLAN. This opens the Ethernet devices. Click New. Configure the fields. In our example, index is equal to 1, name is VLAN2, VLAN ID is equal to 2, underlying interface is group 2, and tagging is untagged. Click Apply to apply your settings. We are returned to the network view. Note the new Ethernet device has been added. The next step is to configure the IP network interface which will be used by that port. Click Add IP interface. This opens the IP interfaces page. Click New. 
configure the necessary parameters. In our example, index will be 1, name will be ITSP, application type will be media and control. Ethernet device is VLAN 2. IP address for our example is 12, 13, 14 and 15. And the default gateway in our example is 12, 13, 0, 1. Click apply to apply your settings. Note a new IP interface has been added. Thank you for watching.